Welcome back to Crypto Warehouse. My name is Mike and today we are going to take a look at the Meme Coin Slurf. We're going to go through what we can on their website. We're going to go through their stories, their memes, their slurfonomics. We're going to have a look at their social media and then most importantly we're going to look at Coin Market Cap and Dex Tools to find out what we can about this project. Is it a pump and dump? Is it a rug pull or is it a legitimate project? Before we do any of that, can we please ask you to like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse and help us make more videos like this. So Slurf came to our attention last week. It has a market cap of just under $300 million as uh, the recording of this video. So what do we think of the project and what is it about? Well, first of all, as with many of these meme coins, do not expect too much in-depth information from their website or their social media. To get under the hood of this one, we're going to have to go through Dex Tools and Coin Market Cap. But let's see what the website can tell us about the project. Slurf emerged with a vision to be a fun and engaging meme coin, brimming with exciting content to propel its journey forward. However, on launch day, disaster struck with a major mishap resulting in the accidental burning of $10 million worth of Slurf tokens intended for distribution amongst 25,000 pre-sale buyers. In response to this unforeseen turn of events, Slurf's dev overwhelmed with dismay and confusion, <laughs> swiftly convened an X space session to address the situation and answer questions with complete and total transparency. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Nick? <laughs> the act of accountability not only unified the community, but also attracted widespread attention from influential figures within the ecosystem. Despite this initial setback, Slurf found itself buoyed by the overwhelming support of both the community and influential figures in the ecosystem. Together, they embarked on a journey of transforming adversity into an opportunity for growth. With the collective effort and unwavering dedication of its supporters, Slurf stands on the brink of becoming the foremost meme token of all time. As Slurf continues its journey, the tale of its rise from its setback to success is far from over promising new chapters and achievements yet to come. Slurf is worth to be continued. Well, that is a story and a half. Let's have a look at the Slurfnomics for Slurf. Total supply is 500 million Slurf. 100% has gone to the liquidity pool, 0% pre-sale. The LP was burned at launch and ownership has been revoked. We're gonna go and have a look at that later on when we look at Dex Tools. So it's a standard project. 500 million is a reasonable number. We are seeing a definite decrease in the number of tokens issued with these meme coins. Back in the day, there would be 62 trillion or 69 trillion uh, coins at launch. Recently, we've seen a lot less. If you look at Bohm, if you look at Slurf, they are under a billion tokens. And this is a good thing for me because it will hold value. We're going to look at the price of Slurf as well later, but Instead of talking about fractions of a cent, we're now talking about 10, 20, 50 cents a token. Dog with hat, over $2.50. So for me, that's a good sign. We're moving away from these huge numbers to numbers that people can understand. And the last thing available on their website is the shuffle meme. How many slurfs can a slurf slurf if a slurf could slurf slurfs? Very exciting. Slurf is worth the next big game. Now, I don't know why nobody has done it, but my favorite would be Slurf and Turf. Champagne, Surf and Turf. Any now, incredibly, Slurf has 97 and a half thousand followers on X. This is a lot more than most meme coins we've looked at, which are in the 10, 20, 30,000 range. 97 and a half thousand Slurfers is very exciting. I'm not going to read out some of the naughty words that they've put up on their, on their page. But let's just go through it. It's the new sloth on the block with donations link there and their website, of course, that we've been through. And as with most meme coins, as you would expect, their X account is full of memes. Memes upon memes upon memes. Now, as I said at the start, it's fairly difficult to make reviews of meme coins when their website is lacking so much. But that doesn't mean we can't go and look at the tokenomics of the project. As you can see, the maximum supply there is confirmed at just under 500 million tokens. The fully diluted market cap 
coming in at just under $280 million. The contract is, of course, on Solana. And there are links to their social media and websites. Now, another trend I have noticed with memes, especially Solana memes, over the last few weeks is the early adoption of major exchanges to these meme coins. As you can see here, HTX, Gate.io, and Mexi have already listed this token. And being on Solana, it is available on Orca and Radium as well as probably Jupiter. Now, I'm not saying this is a good thing or a bad thing. I am saying it adds a huge amount of liquidity to any project that's listed on some of these exchanges because people will throw 50 or $100 at these projects. And when it's listed on places like Gate.io and HTX, that adds up to a considerable number of people. As you can see here, look at the volume of the top three, 132 million, 64 million, and $47 million in the last 24 hours. That's an incredible volume for a meme coin that is merely two or three weeks old. Now then, let's head over to Old Faithful, which is Dex Tools. We look at every project on Dex Tools because everything you need is in one place. Directly under the Slurf Sol pair, you will be able to see the contract, the website, Twitter, Telegram, Reddit, CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, and even the token details to add to your MetaMask wallet. So everything you need is always in one place on Dex Tools and you can cross check the information from CoinMarketCap with Dex Tools. As you can see here, $280 million market cap. That liquidity, though, $115 million is excellent. And 72,500 holders is incredible for a meme coin. Very high numbers. A lot of meme coins we've looked at in the past have struggled to get to 10 and 20,000 holders. And scrolling down a little, we can see the pool was created on the 18th of March. So this $280 million project has only been available really for about seven days. Now the DEX T score comes in at a solid 99 out of 99. For a new project, this is very good. Normally they're in the 70s to 80s range. 99 out of 99 is absolutely perfect. And clicking on the audit scan, you can see the quick intel. The contract has been verified. There is no honeypot. And passing these audits is always another green tick for me. So now to the price action. As you can see from the chart, we've had our two wicks up and now we are finding our local bottom, which is about 55, 56 cents. With a market cap of $280 million, there is still great scope for this project to surge up towards $1 billion. Now, Many of you that have watched me before in the past know that I am not a huge fan of meme coins. I think you can be caught holding a bag. I think it burns the fingers of retail investors, which is why I make these videos. I don't make them to predict the best coins to buy. I do it to try and check that these coins are at least legitimate as far as the audits go, their DEX T score goes, as far as being listed on major exchanges. This is as much as I can do. I am not condoning or suggesting you buy this project. I am merely reflecting what I can find out about them. Now, if you take other meme coins that have run up in the past, you could look at a 900 to $1 billion market cap before retracing. That would be potentially a three to four X from where we are now. And again, for this project to get to that market cap, it's going to need the hype. It's going to need the next leg up. We've already had two pumps initially. We've fallen down. We appear to have found a local bottom. The next target for me then would probably be about $1. $1 would be a good price for this coin to try and attempt in the next leg up. After that, then you'd be looking at trying to get to $1.25 and all time highs. And once you're in price discovery, as we saw with Bohm last week, the coin can go anywhere. Dog with hat hit $2.70 from being 30 cents maybe two months ago. So that's the upside. The downside is of course that this will just stagnate and probably fall below a $200 million market cap without that impetus. Again, I don't have a crystal ball to tell you what is going to happen, but being listed on those major exchanges and having that volume of liquidity already, it bodes well. My concern 
is that meme coins get diluted too much by these major exchanges and rather than having five or six Solana meme coins, you end up with 50 or 60 Solana meme coins and then the amount of liquidity and the amount of trading going on for those meme coins is dispersed amongst those 50 or 60. So I'm very worried that we're going to get to a point where we have too many meme coins listed on exchanges and then the exchanges will start to delist them and that becomes a worry because liquidity will flow out and the price will dump. However, I don't know if any of that is going to happen to this coin, to Slurf. I'm making the video, it's checked out as far as I can see. There isn't really anything to add. I do think it is following in the vein of Bohm, in the vein of Bonk when Bonk first started. So as far as I can see, go and do your own research. I have always left all of the links in the descriptions below videos. So make sure to check it out yourself. Go to the website, go to Dex Tools, go to their social media account and check out their X platform see if they can publish a roadmap because as we've seen with Floki in the last few days that roadmap is outstanding and that coin looks like it's going to continue its pump up from 2.2 billion onwards this coin needs a roadmap it needs to show where it's going to go in the future with all that being said if you've watched the end of the video thank you very much please don't forget to like and subscribe to crypto warehouse i have been mike you have been great until next time see you soon goodbye